Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn error and percentage error. Alright, let's, let's go. Let us assume that this is a football field and the original measurement of this football field is length it was 98 cm weight weight it was or it was say 85 centimeters all right and another player remeasures the football the same football field and got a different value. Say, say he got the length as 100 cm and got this, the width as 90 cm. Are you following? And the referee comes and uh, say that uh, the Measurements made here is very, very wrong. Now, that means there is an error here in the measurement, possibly from the one done by the player. All right, so if you want to check the error now, error made here, all right, it's going to be the original measurement of length minus the estimated or the newly measured value of length. I follow you now. All right, so that or this minus this or anyhow you do it is going to give you the same answer. So if you have to say that error in the length now is 98 minus 100, that gives us minus 2 or 100 minus 90 is that gives us a plus 2. That is to say that the error ranges from plus is, is plus or minus 2. I follow you now. Okay, if you do the same thing to the width, now you are going to have 85 minus 90. That gives us minus 1. If you do it 90 minus 85, you are going to give a plus 1. So that the error now is plus or minus 5. Are you following now? So that is how to get the error. Our concern now is not whether this is plus or minus. Our concern is the amount of error made in the measurement. Are you following now? No, it is the sign is important in science, but it's not all it's not necessarily needed in mathematics. It is more it is mostly you need it in either chemistry or physics. I follow you. But for the sake of this particular tutorial, we are going to introduce what is known as the absolute value so that it will take care of the, of the what the minus sign. We're going to introduce it to the formula. Alright, so that the formula for error now is the actual or rather the original value minus estimated value or the estimated value let us say estimated value ev minus the actual value av idea over the actual value times 100 percent this is the formula for finding for this is the formula for finding percentage error so the but the error now error is this you want to get the error this is the formula of finding the error. This minus this or AV minus EV. Estimated value minus actual value or actual value minus estimated value. I follow it now. Alright. So for us to know get the like I said, the percentage error now, form of percentage error now it is going to be PE now, let us let PE present the error. It's going to be error. I there 
over actual value, actual value that is A V times 100 percent. This is the formula. I follow you. Now, for us not to be bothered about plus or minus, introduce the absolute value. That is absolute. This one that is absolute value of uh, this error. Idea. So remember that error is either you say a v minus e v. That is out, uh, actual value minus e estimated value over a v times one hundred percent. Or you say, or you say e v minus a v. I there over a v times one hundred percent, whichever way you do it, provided you introduce this uh, uh, absolute value sign or symbol, you are going to get the correct answer. Are you there? All right. So let us now take a look at question number one. Question number one. In question number one, it says a student measures the radius of a circle. Of a circular sheet to be 15 centimeters long. Then the level on the level on the sheet indicates that the radius, okay, indicates the radius as 17 cm. What is the percentage error of the measurement? Very simple. Alright, so PE now, okay, solution. Bring out the parameters, give you or that I give you. The the look at the label. The label indicates that the radius is so this is going to be the actual value or the original value of this radius of the circular sheet. So now your AV now is what 17 cm and your estimated value or your measured value now is what 15 cm centimeters now. Are you there? So that your error now, the error now. The error now is 17 minus what? 15. Or 15 minus 17. I follow it now. So that when you do it, I don't have that your percentage error now, your PE now, which is absolute value of error over the actual value. That's 100%. So that our error now, any way you put, if you like, this is 2, if you like. So if you put say minus 2 here over actual value, the actual value here now is 17 times 100%. Are you there? So you're going to have this absolute value of minus 2 now. Absolute value of minus 2 is plus 2. Absolute value of minus 10 is plus 10. I follow you now. So the absolute value of minus 2 here now is going to give us what? 2 over 17 now times 100%. So that 2,100 now gives you 200 over 17. So when you do the division, now you're going to have that 200 divided by 17 is going to give us 11.76. So this is going to, this one is going to give us what? 11.76 plus the percentage error. Are you there? All right. Now, there are situations whereby they will give you the percentage error, give you the measured value or estimated value asks you to find the actual value or the other way around. Are you there? What if um, an object an object whose percentage error is 22.22 is 22.22 percent. An object whose percentage, an object whose percentage error is, is this was was weighed was weighed by a student as 13.6. To gauge if the teacher of the students 
say if the teacher say that the weight was wrong, calculate or rather what is the actual value or the actual value or the actual weight. actual weights of the objects question mark all right so you look at this question now solution look at this question now you find out that our pd here now is 22.22 percent and the measured value of the measured value or the expected value here the EV estimated value here now is 13.62 kg. So the actual value now is not known. I throw it now. So from the formula now, remember that our PE is error, the absolute value of error over actual value times 100 percent and our error can be written this way your expected value minus your actual value over actual value times 100 percent so if this is the case now so bring this one up and substitute it to with this particular one so i'm going to have 22.22 equals ev minus if e, absolute value of error minus uh, if e minus av over av sorry yeah remember the estimated value now is 13.62 so put it here 13.62 all right all over av remember you're looking for actual value av times 100 100 percent are you there that's 100%. Anyhow, so when you open the bracket now, let me claim the question. All right. So that is to say, what I have to here now is 22.22. It was this thing I'm written as, uh, I'm also written this way. I'm also written this way. 13. Point 62 minus AV times 100 all over what? Over AV. So that when it comes to my plan, I don't have the standard, so I don't have 22.22 AV. I follow you. Because this standard, I'm going to have this standard, this now is going to give us open the brackets. This standard, we're going to have 13.62 minus 100 AV. I hear. Yeah? Now I'm going to have 100 AV plus 22 This AV equals 13.62. I follow you. This part is going to give us 122.22 AV equals 136.2. So to get your AV that goes sign now by 122.22, you're going to have 122.22. A over 122.22 sorry it was 1362 over 122.22 so that this can go you are going to have at your A your actual value now is this divided by this you are going to have what you did you are going to have 1362 divided by 122.22 I'm going to have 11.14. I'm going to have 11.14. This is the actual 